Hello, hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Kim Dent. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I live in Maryland Heights, Missouri. I have a group of 41 wonderful uh, women in my, on my team. Um, I also teach stamp classes every month on the second Friday and Saturday of the month. If you're in the St. Louis area, um, I, I teach classes at Zion Lutheran Church, um, which also has a coffee shop called Higher Grounds. Um, it's a beautiful space that we get to um, get together and stamp the evening or after, morning or afternoon away. If you're interested in learning more about my stamp classes, um, the address for Zion Lutheran is 12075 Dorset Road. And I would love to invite each and every one of you, or if you're in, my, in the area, if you're in the St. Louis or Illinois area and you'd like to come and try out one of my classes, I would love to have you. So hello everyone. If you're tuning in, um, please say hi. If you're watching me from my YouTube channel, Stamping with Kim Dent, please hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button. Hi everyone. Happy, happy Sunday. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. It has been pretty quiet around here. Well, stamp classes were this weekend, so I've got some. For those of you who could not attend um, the stamp classes, I have got um, my cards to show you from the classes. Hello, Carol. Hello, Jan. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. Let me see. I'm going to uh, sync my laptop. And then I'm going to set this aside. So hold on just one second. What is everybody doing today? Has anybody stamped? I hope so. Let's see. There we go. Oh, that was quick. All right. I think I'm there. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mom. Thanks for tuning in today. We have got quite a few tuning in. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Kim. Good to see you. Okay, so um, like I said before, uh, second Friday and Saturday of the month, I hold classes. Uh, we make the same cards. We have five cards. I cut and prep and organize everything. Um, you come and stamp and assemble the cards and have a wonderful time, and then you walk away with five adorable cards um, that are ready to be mailed out. So I'm going to show you the cards that we made. And if you'll just give me one second, hold on, I'm going to flip my camera around. All right, there we go. Oh, before I forget, if you would, uh, if you're interested in placing an order anytime soon, um, here's my website. You can go there 24 seven and place your order. If you like staying up really late or getting up really early and placing your orders, you can do that any time of the day. If your order is $150 or less um, and you would like to help me out, this is the host code, so CMR9KD74. If your order is $150 or more, I want you to receive the Stampin' Rewards, so do not use uh, this code because uh, I want you to, to reap the benefits of your order. So um, the other thing I wanna remind you, which you're gonna hear me talk about all the way till the very last day of August, August 31st, is Celebration is going on. This is, it used to be a one time a year uh, promotion with Stampin' Up! And I am so very thankful. Now it is two times a year. If you um, have not seen this little beauty of a catalog and would like to have me pop one in the mail to you, um, just comment or send me a message and I'd be happy to do so. We all like getting free things. So anytime uh, you place an order of $50 or $100, you get to pick out of this sweet catalog. I'm going to use these tonight to make a card, the hippiest hippos. 
I love this. This is the um, the Rings of Love. It is probably my favorite item out of the Celebration catalog. We're gonna we made that we used it for two cards in my class this weekend. And then this beautiful stylish sketches. We all love nature, so nature um, nature stamps. This one makes fantastic masculine cards. Um, and then this one, this I'm gonna call this one the sleeper. I um, pool parties and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. I did not think I needed them. If you look closely, they're they're in uh, page eight and flow over to page nine. They didn't pop out at me, and until I thought, well, I need to um, go ahead and just see what they look like, because a lot of times things are a lot prettier in person or cuter in person when you get your hands on it, and pool party soft sea foam cards and envelopes are those are one this is one of those items they are so much prettier in person so free with a fifty dollar purchase um this is silver and gold paper i don't know if you can it'll pick up on the camera but um it is very pretty i always think wedding cards when i see this the fun part about this paper is that you can very easily use your blending brush and um, color this any color that you would like, which is what they've done in this sample right here. And then with a $100 purchase, who loves stamps that have words? I do, I, I do, I do. So Amazing Phrasing is free with a $100 purchase. And then this one, oh, and that reminds me. So this one, Tree Lot, die, tree lot Dies, coordinates with the Trees for Sale stamp set, which is in the mini catalog. But these dies and this sweet little puppy, so cute. The fun part about this, which I'm always trying to tell you to look outside the box. I looked at this and now I can't even think what this is called. Somebody will have to help me. Does anybody know what this little vehicle is called? <laughs> I looked at that and I thought, you know, we're not a camping family. I don't need this. But then I love that puppy. I love the trees. If you can see them used here. So don't overlook it just because it's got this little camper on it. Because if you like, um, if you like to make, use trees with your, it doesn't even have to be Christmas. Think outside the box, girls. Um, you know, great for winter cards, for masculine cards. So these tree lot dies are oh so cool, even without this little camper. So there you'll see that. And then I'm gonna use this tonight, the Wonderful World stamp set with the Wonderful Wor World DSP. It's beautiful, especially if you're in love with florals. I have a funny story to tell you about this. So another perk of celebration is if you have, if you collect $300 in orders or you place a $300 order, you get this free host set. And I said this in my class and I, I kind of am feeling bad about it, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all. I was not impressed with Perfect Pomegranate, but then um, I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand why Stampin' Up had a st made a stamp set with Perfect Pomegranate, but I had a couple of customers come up and tell me, and Miss Mary, she, she Googled the symbolism of it and there's a lot of really cool things that's used in the Bible. Um, so Google it if you would like. If you're into pomegranates, um, please, you want to place your order of, or collect orders of $300 or more by the end of August. I just had to laugh about that. So there is a there is a wonderful meaning behind the pomegranate. And I feel bad for dissing the pomegranate stamp set. But And then the other benefit, our perk during celebration the perk of signing up is there's this amazing stamp set and beautiful planner um, that you can get. You always can sign up, um, you know, the perk of signing up, well, there are a lot of perks for signing up with Stampin' Up. There, You get to pick $125 worth of product for $99. That's our, um, that's our special that goes on every day of the year, but during celebration, your little perk is to get this cool, beautiful planner along with the stamp set that goes with it, making plans. So that's the celebration um, at uh, commercial. Now to the 
cards that I made. So I like to make quick and easy cards. I also like to make cards that, you know, I make all, uh, do, I do a lot of work on them, um, for special occasions, for weddings and special people in my life. But more often than not, or more often than not, I need quick and easy cards. It's always great to have a stack of cards, um, ready to go. This layout is quick and easy. It is using a piece of the Rings of Love DSP, which is beautiful. Um, and uh, then the, let's see, it's called, I got my little recipe card here. The, um, it is called Stylish Shape Dies. So it's got the Stylish st Shape Dies have banners, circles, and squares. We just uh, used the Peaceful Moments stamp set, which is a wonderful stamp set, especially if you're starting out or you like words that go on the inside, or the outside, as well as the inside of the cards. Peaceful Moments is a great stamp set to get. Hello, everyone. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Sally. Um, so Terry Gaines, um, who is a, just a sweet, sweet demonstrator, very talented, did a whole thing on how she used the Rings of Love DSP with um, some quick and easy layouts. And I just copied this right from her and I love it. So uh, two colors of cardstock along with white, one pack of Rings of Love DSP. This is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then you can see I used a complementing color, which is mint macaron to go with both of these. Love the birds. I don't know if my friend Joyce Georges is watching tonight, but I immediately thought of her. Um, and so the, and then this, uh, the verse on here, this one says, thinking of you with all my heart. And this one says, happy birthday. You can make a stack of cards using this layout with one stamp set, two packs of colored cardstock, and some white and the dies. And then just to add a little bling bling, I put the iridescent rhinestones on these. So if you need those quick and easy cards, copy this. And you wanna spend $50 to get your Rings of Love DSP. Oh, this, well, let's see, let's go into this one. This one, there's that Rings of Love paper in there. Isn't that pretty? And I had, I forget who it was, um, told me at stamp class on Saturday, they were like, they typically don't like fall or fall colors, but, oh, I know who it was, Jan. Um, uh, there was a, there's a different Jan, not the Jan that was watching tonight. And she said, I love the colors in, I guess it's the, it is the, uh, sorry, Evening Evergreen that makes this piece pop. This is from um, Rings of Love and then, uh, the Celebration DSP, and then I used for the first time the Ringed with Nature stamp set, which is in the mini catalog, and then I used the Tree Rings hybrid embossing folder with the die in it. For some reason, I had been a uh, chicken to use a hybrid embossing folder and I, they are so cool now I want them all every single one of them that are in the catalog a hybrid embossing folder cuts out the shape so these tree rings but also I think you can see embosses so awesome so there's the second card this one another quick and easy one it's wa made with waves of inspiration and all we did was stamp the pelican on my friend Jan, who was at class, this is a pile. Um, we stamped, that's one stamp in Night of Navy, colored it in with a little wink of Stella. I used the deckle rec, deckled rectangle embossing, oh no, sorry, deckled rectangle dies to cut out each of these pieces and the painted texture embossing folder and a little bit of twine and a little bit of um, more iridescent rhinestones. You can tell I love them. This one, does it look similar to the one? This was the one that I made last week on the Facebook Live, the fun flap from Jackie Bullhoys. I thought I loved it so much, but I knew uh, I just wanted an easier version of it. This is one of my, this is probably my favorite layout, a piece of DSP, a layer behind it, and then an image. And then on this one, if you'll notice, there's no stamping because that cool Butterfly Kisses DSP, all you have to do is cut out, fussy cut, 
a, a, one of the adorable butterflies and glue it on. And then the fun part about this card, I think, is these, um, oh gosh, I, it was, it's a tongue twister. Flower, fun, fun flower resin shapes. I had trouble saying that all weekend. Fun flower resin shapes that coordinate so cute with this DSP. And then the last card is one that you've seen before. I'm going to pull it out of the, um, I was storm in the envelopes, the clear envelopes from my classes because we all have inky fingers. I made this one on a Facebook Live. Um, it's just uh, uh, quick and easy. It's done with the Wild and Sweet stamp set. Love the Panda. I paired it with the Bamboo Beauty, which is another stamp set um, that's stamped in Mossy Meadow, on Mossy Meadow. We use watercolor pencils and blender pens, which was fun to do in class. Um, and then, uh, ooh, another one. It's this, oh, and I don't have it. I think it's the Solid Faceted Gems. This is Mossy Meadow, which I love it when they matchy-matchy. So Mossy Meadow, um, with to go mossy meadow gem to go with the mossy meadow paper and then this happy birthday is from the stamp set one happy family adorable so those were my cards for all of you who couldn't make it maybe next time um the cards that we're making today i got crazy a lot of times after stamp class i am pooped but this time I decided I had been wanting to play with um, some of my new my new toys, my new Stampin' uh, toys. And um, they have been sitting there since before Rick and I went on the cruise. So I got them out this afternoon. This is the first card I'm going to make for all of you. And um, it is with uh, both a celebration stamp set. Oh, and you know what? A celebration stamp set called Wonderful World. And then there is also, there's the stamp set. Um, I'm not sure what kind of flowers it is. The only one I know is the iris. And I love this stamp set because it reminds me of my grandma. Um, she loved irises. And I love to tell the story about how, I don't know if it was during the Depression. My mom can probably help me. Her, the neighbors, they would buy, or they would, yeah, they would buy iris bulbs. And then they would, like, my grandma would get a purple one, but maybe Eileen, who lived two doors down, would get a pink one. And then as they reproduced, they would share um, the the bulbs. They would cut the bulbs up so they all would get, like, um, a variety of colors. So she loved irises, and so do I. So Wonderful World stamp set, um, as well as the very pretty DSP. I love this little pattern. There's this one now. Shirley and I were talking about this this afternoon. Do you see these adorable little flowers on here? Orchids, um, the irises. I don't, I should know the names of these, but I don't. Um, this looks like an Easter lily. People, a demonstrator or stampers are like punching this this out or using the dies to cut that out and then layer it on a piece. Look at how stinking cute that is. And then pairing it with um, a verse. So easy and so stinking cute. Look at the colors. So pretty. Yeah, Mom, jump right in there and tell. Do you, if, did I leave anything out of the iris story? The colors are Rich Razzleberry. Um, I think Old... Uh, no, Pear Pizzazz. Look at this. This is the one we're using today. This side. Um, look at this one. This is beautiful for a scrapbooker, or you could easily cut out these large flowers and use them. There's the iris. These are just so pretty. This kind of reminds me of like Victorian. So after, I guess after the Depression, right, in the 40s and 50s. Look at how bright and cheerful that is. This reminds, oh, this is the one. It reminds me of like, for some reason, Victorian wallpaper. <laughs> But I love it because it's flowers. And I think that was it. I think that was it. So the the kit that I'm going to uh, use, I'm going to take a piece of, this is Starry Sky. We're going to do it as a little fun fold, quick and easy though. Um, it's five and a half by eight and a half. And we're going to score it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of orchid oh 
Orchid Oasis. I always want to say Orchid Opulence, which was a color from way back. Four by five and one fourth. This is uh, another inside. This is the inside three and three fourths by five. And then to layer behind the iris, uh, this is Starry Sky two and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then right on top of that, two and a half by three and a half. And then the piece that I stamp on is two and one fourth by three and one fourth. And then this beautiful, wonderful world DSP. It's one and three fourths by five and a fourth. Um, it's on page 14 of the Celebration Catalog. And you need two pieces of it. So you, I chose this one as well as this one. This one um, is a little bit more subtle than this one. So it's on the inside. But look, it was hard to cut it, so it because it's so cute. But... Uh, you know what my New Year's resolution is? Just like Kylie Bartucci from Australia says, you got to love it and chop it. So that's what she says with the DSP. I'm not, I'm trying really hard not to hoard the DSP anymore. So there's, there's your kit. Take a, sna a screenshot of it if you would like. Got it? All right, here we go. I'm going to gather this up and then I'm going to pull in my scoreboard. I usually use either my um, trimmer or if I'm doing a bunch of these, I pull in my scoreboard, which is an, a wonderful tool if you like to make nice, uh, or if you, like, if you like fun folds or fancy folds, you got to get one of these. And you definitely need a, one of our Stampin' Up! trimmers. Okay, we're going to uh, we're gonna score it at four and one fourth. Oh, and I'm not even in the screen. I'm looking up and not even seeing it. Let's see if it's, there we go. So here we go. This is four and one fourth. I'm going to take my stylus and just go really slowly and press firmly. Four and one fourth and then two and an eighth. That is it. That is it. All right, pulling this off and setting this to the side. Then I'm going to bring in my bone folder. Look at this fancy bone folder, ladies. I have a Stampin' Up! friend, Tamara, who I think is moving out to Las Vegas. And she, this is our Stampin' Up! bone folder, but look at this is the name. My, my team are the St. Louis Card Fan Girls. So do you all see that? She designed this for me. The arch with the um, with the St. Louis background, downtown background. I love it. I love it. So um, I'm very proud of it. So and I'm pr very proud of my team. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna put nice crisp folds in this so it lays nice and flat. It's just like the the regular fold at four and one fourth, and then this just folds back on itself. Thank you, Valerie. All right, and then I'm going to bring in the DSP first. We're going to kind of assemble it, and then I'm going to show you how I stamped. I'm going to bring in my stampin' seal. Make sure the pattern's going in the right direction. And this one on the inside. You want to make sure they're even. Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, look, I'm, I'm looking at comments and not paying attention. Ah! After I just said, make sure it's even. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's even up here and straight. That's helpful. And centered. Centered, straight. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in, I just thought it needed a little bit of pop of color. So this is the Orchid Oasis. And I'm not going to put that white layer down, girls, because you know why? You always, you never want to glue things down until you, um, if you've stamped it and you've made a mistake and you've glued it down, you can't flip it over. So always stamp first, then glue down because you get two chances with our paper, with our fancy Stampin' Up! paper. Um, I think I'm going to do the stamping now. So with my 
basic white, two and one fourth by three and one fourth. I just like to bring in my pierce net, even though it is a red rubber stamp. So here's our stamp. For you girls who have been stamping a long time, I bet you've already figured out how I got this beautiful stamp, two different colors. But for you new stampers, which I know I have some watching, what I did, this is so cool with uh, our stamps, I've taken, here's another reason to have our wonderful regular, these are our stamp and write markers. So somebody asked, you know, do you think Stampin' Up! will get rid of the markers? I don't think so, because there are so many different things that you can do with our Stampin' Write markers that you cannot do with our Stampin' Blends. So the, what I've done is I've pulled in, this is Old Olive and Mossy Meadow, and I'm going to color with the brush tip end directly onto my stamp. And it looks like it takes a long time, but girls, look how quick I'm going on this. Now I'll add a little bit of extra, I guess you want to say. Extra, like I'm not just going to go over it once. I'm going to make sure that, because I want a nice bold image when I stamp with this. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side and bring in uh, Mossy Meadow, <laughs> a little brain blip right there. Okay. Oh, well, I know why. Because I wanted to show you on the markers, do you see there is, it shows you right on it. So I knew, that's how I know to pull from this end. Also, so this is the brush tip and this is the fine point. Also on this end, there's a thicker white line um, and then a skinnier white line. So pull this off. Also, here's another tip. If you are, own these, you always want to store your markers horizontally and, and not vertically. Like I would never take my markers and put them in my pencil holder and store them like that because what happens is the ink runs from this end and settles all the way at the bottom. So you always want to store your markers horizontally. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of detail. I don't know. The, when I did it on my sample, I don't think I could pick it up very well, but we'll see if we'll see how it looks. You definitely can see it with the with the top part of the this part of this of the stamp when I color it in. So now I'm going to take my lighter color, which is Orchid Oasis. Oops, brush tip, and I'm going to color the whole thing in. I need some music. I need some elevator music. <laughs> All, right. All right, and then I'm going to add in the starry sky. Hi, Murph. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, I'm just going to take this and maybe go along the edge. I know I got in the middle the last time. And down in here, and really, you know what? It's just there's no. It's not a rocket science. I'm just adding, you know, kind of where I'd like to add some detail to it. So each card is probably going to turn out a little bit different every time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is huff on this, which it means to huff is I'm going to breathe really, really heavily. <laughs> Because probably like this, the old olive and the mossy meadow, that's probably already started to dry. I see a spot that I missed. And so by breathing on it heavily, the moisture from my breath is going to moisten all this up and hopefully transfer very beautifully onto this white cardstock. So here I go. Here's the Darth Vader. <sighs> oh, I don't know if I did it enough. <sighs> all right, here we go. Get my cardstock straight, give it a nice firm press, and let it set there for a second. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I did this. I just did this card this afternoon. And the first time when I lifted that stamp up, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It is so beautiful. I'm just, I'm just amazed. So the next thing I did was I pulled in um, another new set, Go To Greetings. Um, it is, it was designed by one of our million dollar demonstrators. Um, the, the, I love this because it is, um, let's see, I think I've used it before. It's four, it's four different, no, it's three different fonts, large, uh, medium and small. This one is so cute. Um, I just love it. I love it. So, um, I chose thinking of you and I'm going to pull in my, uh, orchid oasis stamp pad. Thinking of you. Ta-da! That's exactly right. Thank you, Valerie. Ta-da! And lightly tap, tap, tap. I'm not going to press. Make sure it's all inked up. I pulled away my prayer snap, but that's okay. I'm going to put it right below here, and hopefully it's going to be nice and straight. Ah, ta-da! Another ta-da! Oh my goodness, I am in love. I hope you all are too. You probably are thinking, you crazy girl. <laughs> but I love this. I just think it's beautiful. Okay, now two, it's going to be layered onto my two and a half by three and a half piece of Orchid Oasis. And then my Starry Sky two and three fourths by three and three fourths. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in these are iridescent pearls, basic iridescent pearls, basic jewels, and they are a little bit, I think, a little bit more fancy than our regular pearls. So they've got a little bit of shimmer to them. So this is the first time I'm using them. Let's see, let me pull in my take your pick tool. Whoops, oh, on the ground. Hold on. I just thought these look so pretty. We're going to use them on both cards tonight. Whoops, they have adhesive on the back of them. Oh, and it's no. Oh. Here we go. Oh, get in there. All right, and then one more up here because I like to do three. Thank you, Shirley. Oh, thanks, Sally. All right, the one thing you have to be careful when you're assembling this card is you only want adhesive on one side. We'll call it the left side. And give it a little bit extra. I'm going to center that. Now, a little Wink of Stella would have been pretty on this, too. And then the next stamp set that I'm going to bring in that I think it's the first time I'm using with all of you is Hope and Prayer. So I've got Thinking of You on the outside. And we're going to use um, You're in My Prayers. So let's see. Did I pull it up? Oh, here it is. <laughs> and I'm going to bring back the Orchid Oasis stamp pad. And I'm going to move this beauty out of the way because I'm, I'm so afraid that I'm going <laughs> to stick my finger in the ink. Or, you know, have you ever done that? You open up your ink pad and then you don't shut it. And then you're like, you stick your finished, almost finished card straight in there. Now, one thing you want to be careful or uh, aware of is... I like, I didn't want the verse on the inside to be hanging out. I wanted it to be covered up by the, this little flap. So I still, I think, was able to pre uh, st stamp it pretty much in the middle. Ta-da! Oh, thanks, Cheryl. I love them, too. Oh, yeah, Cheryl, you are the, you're a pearl girl, too. Okay, make sure it's dry doesn't take long but sometimes with those bold colors you know you gotta 
got to watch it. All right, girls. Ta-da! <laughs> I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm definitely in love with this. I need to find out the names of, does anybody know what these flowers are? Is that a rose maybe? It might be. It looks like it's got little thorns on it. And then an extra leaf. And so I guess leaves for your, for your, or like this would go, I guess, with this. And then this one would go with this rose. So thank you. Thanks for the hearts, everyone. All right, let me grab this and I'm going to put it away and pull out the second card. Set that to the side. This next one is another one that I have been oh so excited to play with. I think it's going to be another, um, I don't know, I guess you would say hot seller. It, from the um, Celebration catalog, which reminds me, girls, Stampin' Up! has um, keeps reminding us as demonstrators that the items out of this catalog are while supplies last. So if you love something that you see, please, please, please don't wait till it's too late. Um, and place your orders early because I I just have a feeling just with the way the the situation with the shipping and that is and supplies just aren't what they used to be even you know three four years ago so they have told us that once once it's gone it is gone so if you love this sweet little girl she is from the stamp set hippies hippest 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 Hippos. Ah, oh, the hippos, hippos. Yeah. Oh, Sally. Oh, thank you, Valerie. And Aster. Okay, so thank you very much, my my flower, my flower friends. All right, hippos, hippos. So stinking cute. And I I used to take dance lessons. I danced from the time I think it was about in kindergarten all the way through senior high. Not all the way through. I think it was about a sophomore, junior, and I decided to quit. But um, so dancing, this hippies, hippies hippo on the little point shoes, just adore her. I will tell you that I saw a card today that a stamper, I don't know if she's a demonstrator or not, she's a dairy, she, they have a dairy farm and she turned, she said, when I saw this hippo, she said, I immediately thought, um, cow and she converted this into a, a a bunch of adorable card cow cards adorable i'm like oh my goodness creative people so hippos hippos also has a very sweet set of oh so adorable <laughs> dies that go with it now i don't know if you can see or sometimes when i do this i'm thinking can you really tell but i think you can there's a, a ton of accessories for this, uh, the hippest hippos. And there, this one is waves, an umbrella. This, these cut out all three of the hippest hippos. This is like a little boat, uh, splash like water. I'm not sure what this is. Is that a, it might be a party hat or to me, it looks like a piece of watermelon or pizza. <laughs> There's sunglasses. This is like a little ring, I guess you would like for a sailor, like on a boat. Um, flowers. I used one of the, I, you'll see in the card, I used, there's a set of three, oh, where is it? Three little flowers that I used to cut out the flowers that are on this card. And now I'm looking in my, oh, I don't see it. Oh my goodness. Oh, here they are. Nope. That's not them. Oh, oh, don't you hate it when that happens? All right, there's flowers. Here they are. Right here. Also, they also fit the gnomes and the penguins. Oh, yay, Kathy. They also fit. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying, Sally. I see. I'm on it now. So the accessories also, Sally's telling us the accessories, like the sunglasses, um, 
the the umbrella that also could if you love the penguins there's yeah there's i it, i found those i put those in a safe place jan i'm worried about the dye which is not in here i hope it's in this case um but if you and um, yeah if you love to accessorize your stamped images oh my goodness get this and the cool part that stampin up did i think for the i don't know i think it's the first time the stamp set is $50 with a $50 reward from Celebration and the die set is a $50. So you don't have to have $100 to get this, to get all of it. You can get place an order this month, $50, place an order next month and get the dies. So there's my cute little girl ballerina, hippo ballerina. I'm going to pull in the kit so you can see it. And I'm going to keep looking for those flowers because that's going to make me nutty. Okay, I used Fresh Freesia. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and one fourth. There's my little tag. I used Parakeet Party, three and one fourth by three and one fourth, and that's to cut out the scallop behind the circle. I used a piece of three and three fourths by five. That's my go to uh, inside uh, size. Three by three is what I use to cut out the circle that is that I stamped the hippo on. Oh, I got a little fancy. I used uh, my go-to layout, which is two inches by five and one fourth, and then I layered it with a two and a fourth by five and seven eighths. That's a hair skosh. I'm going to say skosh smaller, shorter than five and a half, five and seven eighths. And then here's where I got that my layout usually that I was talking about earlier is I always like to put like this piece of DSP, a layer behind it, which is white, and then an image. But I was looking at different layouts on Pinterest and they added this cute little piece behind it or uh, some very talented demonstrator. I thought I can do that because the DSP is Butterfly Kisses, which I love and I have a whole lot of it. So, um, butterfly kisses for the, this piece and butterfly kisses for this piece. There's the flip side. And that's two and a half by three and a half. So if you want to jazz up your basic layout like I do, and then a little scrap for the flowers. I just called it a scrap. Scrap for the flowers. That's to cut out your flowers. Um, I also want to make you aware I use, these are my layering circle dies. I love it because there's that cute little scallop. This is what we use. The, we use this piece to cut out and stamp uh, the hippo on. So they're going to sit there. So I don't you lose them. <laughs> All right. I'm going to bring in. Oh, I still don't see it, girls. I'm bringing in my hippo and my memento ink. And I'm going to pull this to the side so I don't get ink on any of it oh and here I've already cut out the pieces so there's my parakeet party and there's my basic white and the reason I'm using memento or one of the reasons is it's a very nice ink but it also is what we use most of the time when we um, when we use our blends which is what I'm going to use today so inking up this adorable girl. Put my lid on it. Setting that, oh, where's my little pierce mat? Ta-da! <laughs> Pull this to the side now because I love this beautiful grid paper and I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to bring in my and some more grid paper, which is the grid paper I use for my Stamparatus. And I'm going to bring, here's my colors that I'm going to bring in. We're going to use light smoky slate as well as a little bit of dark smoky slate. We're going to use light petal pink as well as dark petal pink. And then a little bit of light flirty flamingo. 
And then for her tutu, I brought in Highland Heather. Highland, yeah, dark Highland Heather and light Highland Heather. And then, of course, a little bit of Wink Estella that's going to go on her tutu and her shoes. So here we go. We're going to use, I'm going to use the brush tip in. And I'm going to start with, let's see, I think I'm going to start around her eyes. I had someone, oh, Barb Blackshire, if, she, if you're watching, oh, it made me sad when you said you couldn't, you couldn't color with these. Oh, and Valerie, too. I love these. I love the Stampin' Blends. So I hope... Maybe at our team meeting, Valerie. I'll have to do like a little mini class on on these blends. I love them so much. I think I could color with them every day. <laughs> now that usually what I tell you is you want you want to like with an image you don't want to color the whole thing because what you want is you want when we're um, using like the darker shade we want this color to bleed into it and we want to be able to blend it so if I set this to the side or if it was a large image like you can see I'm doing her head and then the two arms um, if I set this to the side, I don't know, I've never tried it. I should try it. Um, if it dries, I don't know that it, that, that darker color or it's going to blend. And that's the, that's the whole beauty of this. So I've taken the dark and added a little bit of shadowing. And I'm going to go back in over it with the light. This is just how I do it. There's lots of different ways you can do it, though. It's, I always say, it's like I'm not an artist. I just pretend to be. <laughs> Oh. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the dark, like, um, on her little arm and down her side. We're going to give her a little here and a little here, and I'll give some right here. So it's just fun to play. To me, it's just very fun to play with it. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's just fun to use one color. Like, if you would like to color but you're not sure, just start out using like the one shade of it. You don't have to do both or you don't have to do the blending, but you can definitely see that when you do use the, um, the two different tones, it, it gives the image depth and dimension. And that's what I love about it. Oh my goodness. Let's see. So those are your legs. Oh, yeah, we do need a play date. So just a little bit of shadowing, and then I, I like to I do the light, and then my my how I do it is I add the dark, and then I go back over it with the light, and I always like to do little parts of the image at once, which I think is what pretty much all of the girls, men and women demonstrators who use it, that's what they say. They use the light or they use, I mean, I'm sorry, they, some of them start with dark. I, yeah, I've always gone in with the light first. Oh, I can see it's kind of bleeding right there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, but you do like a small area at a time. So that's Petal Pink, and I am not sure why that's bleeding right there, but we're just going to go right over it. Oh, and I also have learned, watching demonstrators on YouTube, it's okay to like leave um, white areas. Oh, here's something I did. I painted, I painted her toenails Petal Pink. <laughs> Okay, and now I'm going to go in, I'm going to use the brush tip in to make it go a little faster. Her, I don't know what this is, her snout maybe? And add a little bit, ooh, this one's getting, it's dried up. I got more though, don't worry. It's 
getting dry, I can tell. This is probably my first set of them. Let's see if I can get a little bit more out of it. Yeah, on the bullet point end, I'm getting a little bit more. Um, let's see, what did I do? Oh, dark. Oh, I know what I did too, girls. I also added some flirty flamingo for her cheeks right there. Now this looks kind of weird, right? Because it's just like little, oh, oh yeah, I kind of overdid it right there. But when you blend it, when you blend it, you it it um it bleeds and makes like cute little pinky cheeks. You don't even see it's not like a line anymore. Looks like well placed blush and lipstick. Let me see if I can get that that nostril I made a little bit too big. So, oh yes. All right, and. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do her little point shoes in Highland Heather, which goes so cute with Fresh Freesia. This is like watching paint dry, I bet for y'all. Sorry. Well, I think I'm going to use the bullet. So it does bleed through. So you, I think I started saying that in the beginning. You always want to have something underneath, especially if you're working on, you know, your nice dining room table. Always have something underneath. Aren't these stinking cute? All right. So done with the coloring. We're going to add a little bit of Wink Estella on her tutu just to make it shimmer and her toe shoes. And it looks like I kind of got a little something something right there. So I'm going to take my sand eraser which I got off of Amazon. I always have one of these next to me. And it just pulled that. It looked like maybe a little bit of, I don't know, memento maybe. But there's my little image. I'm going to take and layer this onto my Parakeet Party uh, scalloped circle. And then I'm going to put the card together. So I've already scored it. Fresh Freesia, 5.5 by 8.5. I'm going to pull in Butterfly Kisses DSP, 2 inches by 5 and 1 fourth. And it's going to get layered onto basic white. <laughs> oh, uh, one of the, yeah, you're right. You're right. I need to order some of those, Valerie, off of Amazon, those little wobbles to make her, make her do a little, do a little dance. Okay. I'm going to leave a little bit of space on the side by the crease. I just like to do it. That's kind of my go-to. And then bring in, make it a little fancier, my two and a half by three and a half. And then I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. Imagine that, girls. <laughs> and... No, I'm going crazy. You're like, what in the world? I probably could add another one too. <laughs> I love dimensionals. Raise your hand if you love dimensionals. <laughs> okay, she's almost done. I'm kind of centering her on the card. And then I'm going to bring in my Tombow glue. And I'm going to add three of them three flowers that I cut out, and let's hope I can find that dye. I, it's got to be here, and I haven't taken out the trash, so. So. I'm going to have to probably get on my hands and knees, though. That's probably where it's at, on the floor. Those little things, they can bounce, can't they? And the other day, the, uh, the, the, 
what do you call it, scoring blade came off of my trimmer. I knocked it and it fell on the ground and I could not find that scoring blade for anything. Finally, it got down on my hands and knees. There it was. Okay, we're gonna bring in my Take Your Pick tool again and she's gonna get some iridescent pearls in or we're gonna put them on the flower, in between for the flower centers. Ta -da. Oh, these are so pretty, girls. I don't know if you can see it, but order yourself a pack of them because they are just beautiful. All right, let's see. The last thing I'm gonna do is I am going to, oh my goodness, is that where my, hold on. I think I found it, girls. <laughs> oh, this was lucky. Oh my goodness, I need tweezers. There it is. Ta-da! <laughs> it was behind, in between the dimensionals. Yay! No more stress. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this very pretty uh, fresh freesia ribbon that's in the back of our catalog. I'm going to tie a sweet little bow, the bunny ear bow. Let's make two loops and... course now <laughs> I should have tied it I thought no you don't need to do that ahead of time silly you can do it on camera <laughs> and that's when my fingers don't want to work okay here we go that's how I that's my fancy bow I thought about getting a bow maker I know Cheryl and Pam they have like a bow maker I don't know I'm trying to decide probably is my little arthritic hands start to bother me more. I probably will get one of those bow makers, Cheryl. Okay, and you can see um, I've left it on the roll. Kind of save a little bit of ribbon when you do that. Instead of cutting it off the roll, tie your bows and keep it on like that. Then I'm going to angle the ends of it. Oops. And then I'm going to take a glue dot we're going to be good to go. All right. Oh, oh I did not cut. I caught it on there. It's got a little some... You know what that means? I need to get my scissors sharpened. <laughs> All right, which side looks cutest? I think this side. All right, love our glue dots. A little bit of adhesive. I'm gonna stick it right there. Oh, oh, so cute. Oh my goodness. So which one is your favorite? Is it the oh so beautiful iris card? Or is it the sweetest little hippo that you ever did see? <laughs> I love both of them. I hope you do too. All right, let me flip the camera around. Let me pull this up a little bit. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Like I said, if you're tuning in on my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and the like and the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Um, if you're interested in coming to one of my classes um, in August, please connect with me. I would love to have you with me. Um, it's just, it's such a fun time and there's a great group of men and women who come to stamp with me every single month. So uh, send me an email or a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. Or if you don't have a demonstrator and you don't have a catalog and you would like to get your hands on the annual catalog, as well as the mini catalog, as well as that wonderful celebration uh, catalog, comment, comment and I'll pop them into the mail, uh, pop them all into the mail to you. So thanks everyone. Um, <laughs> thanks Jan. Thanks everybody. Have a wonderful week. God's blessings to you all. Bye-bye.